Hello and welcome to Infinity. Um, we're going to have a look now at text. Uh, I, as a photographer, I don't use a great deal of it, but there's this huge amount of power in the, the things you can do with text in this, partly because it's connected to designer and so on. So, but it's great. It's, it's just like, you know, you could do all sorts. So we'll have a quick look now at the basics. If you want to add text, if you go down to here, if you right click on there, you can see there's two of these. I mostly use the top one, so click on Artistic Text Tool. If I type now, I can start typing. Oh, it's rather small, isn't it? So I typed Hello World, I don't know if you can see that. Notice if I, when I stop, you get the dots around it. So if I want to make that bigger, I could do Control A, which selects everything, and so I select all the text and then go to the text size here and go down to whatever I want and see as I scroll down the text actually gets bigger so I can choose a text size there. I can also go to the corner here and I can drag that to make it bigger just like it's a shape. There's dots around it are just the same as the shape ones. So this means I can do things, I can rotate it and, and so on. Um, I can go to see the up-down arrows, I can skew it like this, so, th so it's very much like shapes. Um, also, if I'm going to put some more text in, um, if I go around here, notice by the way, when I've got snapping on, if I move up near it, see it goes red, the dot red, and it even tells me how far away it does snapping to that previous text. See vertically it, it does the green one. But also if I click and hold the left mouse button there and I drag, there's a letter A coming out here. Uh, this is not actually going to type the A, but it's to show me how big the text is. So I can choose the size of the text to start off with here. That's a great way to start. Just click, drag. Now I can say, this is it, or whatever. I can, I can type from that size. So that's a, that's a really handy way of setting the size in the beginning. When you click on things, this I can click in this anywhere. If I double click, I get the word, I treble click, I get the paragraph and, and, and so on. You can click and it'll just gradually, every, every multiple click, you get more and more and more. Um, to move things, if I want to move this, if I go to the edge of this, still with the, the, the uh, artistic text tool here, I can click this and just move this around the place so I can do that very easily. I can also use the move tool which I mostly use, because you can then just grab anywhere in it and so on. The move tool is also useful for going back the other way. If I double click using the move tool, double click this, it switches back to the artistic text tool there and puts a cursor in where I can continue to type things. So it's, it's pretty good. When you're resizing things as well, the things like control and shift work. So normally this goes from the end, but if I hit control key, it goes from the middle so it keeps it centered and so on. I can also, if I grab one of these egg th edge things here, I can stretch the text, yeah? So there's all sorts. And by and large, the, all the usual stuff you get with text, you can do, uh, and then some as well. So up here, you've got a lot of these things here. You've got the type of font you've got there. Um, regular lets you do this narrow and italic and any variant based on the um, the the actual font information that's given. You can change the size, you can make it bold, italic, you can underline it, you can change the colour of it to anything you like. And this is only when the, the text that is selected, by the way, so you're going to make sure you've got it all selected or not. Um, or if I've got this here, see, with, with the Move tool, I can select the whole thing. I've still got all these up here. I can do things like styling. I can create a completely new style. If I click on that, here's all the things I can do. I can name it and so on. So I can create my own style. All these things here, do character things. All this stuff here with... It's just like there's an enormous amount here. I'm not going to go through all of this but there's a lot you can do. There's a useful one down the end here, Convert to Curves. If I click on this, nothing much kind of seems to happen, otherwise this has all changed, but now this is like an ordinary shape or curves here. So I can change this, but I can also 
get to the individual letter. So it's broken up the letters. And if I go to the node tool, now I've got lots of nodes here. So I can literally drag each node and reshape it just like it was a curve or piece of text. So you've got that amount of control as well. So there you are. That's a very quick overview of the basic things that you can do. I'm going to do another video with some of the further things, but you can see how powerful it is. Anyway, there we go. Thank you very much for watching.